your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Good morning, it's 614. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We've got a forecast high today uh, in Minot at 50 degrees, not too far from that average there. And you can see the record was set back in 2020 for a record high at 73 degrees. This was a really warm beginning of November last year. It was actually a really warm November. You can see in Bismarck, we also set a record last year in 2020 at 76. And we're looking at a forecast high today of 49. Statistically speaking, it's kind of on par with that, uh, that average here at 47. At school today, upper 40s to low 50s. The warmest temperatures will be in far western North Dakota, and we keep it warmer today and dry and sunny. And we're not starting off as, as cold either. You know, yesterday morning, this time yesterday, we were dropping down to 10, eventually 9 degrees in Hedinger. We're at 18 there this morning, 21 in Harvey, 23 in Bismarck, and 22 in Minot. Light winds from the south and the west around 5 miles per hour will turn more into southerly uh, and westerly winds around 5 to 15. So really the winds aren't going to bother you for today. The highlight will probably be just the full sun and the warmer temperatures. Now, many of us will be in the, in the 40s, but we do have, again, some 50s off towards the west. And you see here, it will mainly be in the southwest that we'll see those low to mid 50s, while the rest of us fall into the upper 40s, even around 50. <clears throat> Excuse me, but a couple of headlines here for you to take away from this forecast. We've got a dry day today and into Thursday. Probably seeing a slight chance for some rain on Friday. That's going to be with the passing of a front. And also a warm weekend is in store for us with possibly a cool down towards the end of next week. But right now we don't have much to speak of when it comes to cloud cover or even rain. Nothing is on the radar, rain or snow. And you see that's going to be the case for the rest of the day. This is 3 p.m. this afternoon. We keep that full sun and warming temperatures. On Thursday, still mostly sunny, but pulling in just a few high clouds. I still think we'll see a lot of sun. Sunshine, though, highs will be, uh, in fact, even warmer for tomorrow. It's on Friday. We'll have this warm front that moves through that could bring us a chance for just a quick shower. If you saw a shower, it would be more like a trace, maybe less than a tenth of an inch of moisture. And your forecast highs on Thursday with that sunshine are in the, in the 50s and some low 60s. We keep with the 50s to around 60 on Friday as well, so we're looking at a really comfortable forecast here. And Dickinson, over the next three days, you've got temperatures uh, really warming up above average really heading towards Thursday and into Friday will carry that warmth into the weekend. Friday will probably be a little bit of a breezy day for most around 60 on Thursday and Friday uh, for Williston. And then you see here for Minot over the next week, we've got a nice forecast and we'll head into the weekend, of course, setting our clocks back on Saturday night, getting that extra hour of sleep. And then over the next week in Bismarck, we are looking at temperatures in the 50s and 60s. It's not until we get towards the end of next week that we'll probably start seeing another cool down. Right now, it's not an Arctic cool down or anything here. I don't want to scare you, but uh, the ups and downs, you know, do continue. You can't sustain 60s for long this time of year. Yeah, but to have it is just very nice. Get out this weekend, you know, get some nice fall weather activities. Mm, absolutely, in. yeah. And an extra hour of sleep. That'll be mm. wonderful. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota. Still to come, Jim Nelson says that while he is retired,